Hey, Internet! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. What in the world is Amy doing here? Never mind that. I need to focus on finding that black hedgehog who looks like my shadow. He's somewhere on this island. I know it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Time for stage four. Oh, wait, what? I skipped the movie scene. Shoot. Oh, well. The movie scene wasn't that important anyways. Welcome to Metal Harbor! This is probably my favorite level in the game. This is what a Sonic level should be like. Fast-paced, super fun, awesome music. And chain your homing attack across there. So now what we have to do is actually get on here. This will take us up here. See that glowing green thing over there? We get a power-up! The Light Shoes! Light dash to move at light speed along paths of rings. The action window will appear near your rings. Press B button to get them. This is a very important power-up to get, and we will be using it a lot as Sonic. So you see, you've probably seen tracks of rings like these lying out. So if we get in front of them, there's the light dash option. Which just lets us go straight through the rings to the end. So that's really cool when it works. But I feel like sometimes there are lots of Trails of Rains where it doesn't always work right away. Which is not always fun. So we got a somersault under there. Climb up here. Somersault under here. And we can go through. Oh yes! Sonic at its finest right here. Yeah, so in the movie scene that I skipped the last episode, uh... Basically, Amy finds Sonic in jail, lets him out, and Sonic's like, Oh, gotta go after Shadow! Uh, no chow box. Oh boy, we gotta get to the top before 15 seconds are up. It's pretty easy, though. And we're jamming! Get 400 points! Sweet! Never skateboard section! This is not as fun as the one on City Escape, though. Very hard to control. But who cares? That's level complete! Yes! Metal Harbor, you are amazing. Barely made it. Rank E, that's the worst rank you can get. Yeah, I'm sure you're surprised, like, what? You got that low a rank? Yeah, that level's really hard to A rank. You need to do so many cool tricks. And here's one of the more infamous scenes in the great game. Whew. So far, so good. Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my I'll make you eat those words! <laughs> There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. So, time for a boss fight against Shadow. I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest, apparently, he says. So, you just gotta homing attack him when he's on the ground and not trying to homing attack you, like that. I see. So you're not just a hedgehog. Get back. Some of the Sonic bosses can be really annoying. There we go. Not bad for an imposter. Do you know who I am? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. That's not the last time we'll be fighting Shadow. Time for stage five: Green Forest. Escape from the island in eight minutes. We're timed on this level, but this is also a really cool one. before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up? He's like, darn it! My plan has been foiled! Gotta get out of here! Find Amy and Tails! Right away! 
Yeah, we do. So this is another amazingly fast-paced level with beautiful scenery and cool music. Now that we've got the light shoes, we can do... Yeah! Cool tricks like that. And Sonic is doing loops when there's not even full ground all the way over. It's amazing. He's literally running on nothing to finish vertical loops. Woo! Tarzan Sonic away! Yeah! If you can chain enemy attacks like that, you also get uh, point bonuses. So it's important to do that. Yeah, seriously, he's running on the ceiling of loops, but there's no ceiling. Pretty awesome. Got some ring capsules over there. We can do a half loop up here. Now here's something that a lot of people will miss, on the, at least on their first playthrough. Yeah, there are enemies down here. You can chain attack across this. And there's another power up here. Ancient Light. Light attack to defeat multiple enemies at light speed. Press the B button to charge up, then release to destroy nearby enemies. So honestly, I hardly ever use this, because it's very slow. But it's at least cool, and it's a power-up, so might as well get those. Every stage has a power-up, with two exceptions. But oftentimes you won't be able to find the power-up until you get future power-ups. For example, City Escape, we're not going to be able to get the power-up there until we beat the Hero Story, really. Woohoo! Speed shoes! Let us go a bit faster. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid chow boxes at this point. Because I don't really want to... Oh no! My rings! My hundreds and hundreds of rings! Those guys can be a pain. Now here, the electric shield can actually be annoying now, because it won't let us light dash while we have the electric shield. So that's one state uh, where the electric shield can actually be detrimental. Ooh. Yeah, if we hold A, we can go lower like that, hit the balloon, but we have to release the bungee back up. Nice little speed boo! Oh man, I almost went too fast there. Oh, I actually could light uh, dash there. Just has to be perfectly timed. Oh no, the ground's collapsing. Hit the trampoline, bounce up. Awesome! Yes. Man, Green Forest is a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun that level was. Too easy. Piece of cake. Aw, oh, man, if I didn't get hit by that robot, I bet I would have gotten an A rank on that level. Because for the Sonic and Shadow levels, your rank is basically determined by how many reens you have at the end, how fast you do it, and also all the different tricks you do. Oh! Looks like the island blew up before we found Tails and Amy. Whoops! Oh, never mind. In a mountainous region, meanwhile... Time for the next Knuckles level! Pumpkin Hill! We have to, again, find the free piece of the Master Emerald. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Yep. So right off the bat, we can get a power up here. Shovel Claw! You can dig in the ground or walls. Select Dig in the action window. Or simply press B when you're in the air or on a wall. So yeah, now the Master Emerald pieces can be hidden in the ground or in the walls. So we might have to do some digging, quite literally, to find the stuff. And of course, there has, it wouldn't be a Knuckles level without a terrible, and yet at the same time, a hilarious and awesome uh, rap song. Alright. Something up here. <laughs> yeah, there's a trampoline hidden in that box. Yeah. 
cool. There it was. Yeah, I had to dig to get that Master Emerald piece. Whoosh! I love how Knuckles can just hover. It's really nice. I do wish you could detect the radar would detect it when you're near any of the pieces and not just the first one on the list. That's literally a downgrade from Sonic Adventure 1. It's over. Oh, I thought that was a ring. No such luck. Well, I'm not getting an A now. If you die after getting one of the Master Emerald pieces on the Knuckles level, you're not getting an A rank. Like, that's just something that's not going to happen. Take that. Man, where's that next piece? Is it on the Church Mountain? It's quite possible. Knuckles is a really good rock climber, by the way. <laughs> Stupid ghost! Get out of here! You, there are also computers lying around the stage. You can use those and it'll give you hints on where the pieces are. But getting the hints also decreases the amount of points you will get when you actually end up getting the Master Emerald piece. Which, if you want a good A ranking, then you better not do that. Dig in front of the pumpkin? Yep, that was it. Alright, let's see where that last piece is now. Yeah, I didn't really mention it. These are little... Oh, this is a missile. If you fire it, it'll destroy cages that are in its path. These are rockets you can grab on and it'll fly you up really high. <laughs> well, Sonic songs in general are like always really bad, but at the same time also like hilarious. Here we go. Somewhere on this the weird structure, Ghost Train Mountain. Nope, that's Farber. Also, sometimes the pieces can move around. Like, as in, like, they'll literally be moving by default. Which I think this piece might be doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this piece is moving around. Ouch. Ouch. Where could it be? Also, camera, as always, for 3D platformers can be very wonky at times. Oh, there it is. That's a tough spot to find. So we're going to have to glide into it. Where did it go? Yeah, sometimes Knuckles levels can be like this. 
Where did it go? I thought it was right under there. Eh. Oh no! I died? I didn't think you could fall to your death on this level. Well, I'm getting an E rank for certain. <laughs> I died twice, once after each time I found the other pieces. Did the piece move? Or did I just go to the wrong part of the course? The piece might have moved. I forgot I could do that. Okay, this music really gets on my nerves after a while. I'm hearing someone saying you're a chicken, don't be scared, but it don't matter either way, because the body wasn't there. <sighs> and the sound of all those rockets popping up is also really obnoxious. Yeah, the piece moved, but where did it go? I forget what that switch does. I feel like I've flown everywhere and there's been no beeping on the radar. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to use a computer. Yeah, if you go up to a computer here, press B. Sad-Eyed Pumpkin. Oh. No wonder I couldn't find it. It's in a really out-of-the-way place. It should be up here. Uh, yeah. Should be up here. That is definitely a sad-eyed pumpkin. Maybe not. The Ghost Face Mountain. What the heck? Where is it? The right eye of the mountain shaped like a pumpkin ghost. Yeah! Haven't I been there? Do I have to go to like every single pumpkin mountain until I get to the right one? Okay, seriously, there it is, finally! It's literally the last place on the course I checked. And here I thought I was going to get through four uh, uh, levels this episode. There we go! I found him. That's an E rank if I've ever seen one. I have to try harder. Stupid Pumpkin Hill. Day X. <laughs> Citizens of Earth.
Lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now, great humans. The beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> How did Eggman hack into every TV in the entire world? Whoa! Well, this is a crazy thing already. Oh my gosh! What is that? This is a lamer version of the Death Star, of course! They went just flat out like destroyed half of the moon and no. Wow, Eggman. Oh man, Eggman's actually kind of sinister in this one. Look, half of the moon is gone. Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up! But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him! Tails? The Chaos Emeralds are like magic! They have the power to attract each other! I can use that to find what Eggman is! Why are the police trying to get us? It was Eggman who blew up half the moon. Man, the police are really slow and bad at their job in this. Yeesh. So, that's going to do it for this episode of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to see you next time. I promise we won't spend that long on Pumpkin Hill. Yeesh. We should be doing probably two Tails levels and then another Knuckles level. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.